Very recently, I shot a video on the platform of QMath and how you can start making money sitting at home by working on QMath. And the video received commendable response. There were thousands of queries from a lot of people and I decided to do another video on it. And this time I reached out to the company and I requested somehow managed to get myself an interview with the CEO and the founder of the company. He, Mr. Manan Khurma, he agreed to do an interview with me and to answer all the queries which had flown in on the video. How simple is the process of onboarding? What does QMath train you on? And um, how important it is to receive the training? If somebody is not really very good with math, but they really want to be a teacher with QMath, will it be okay for them to join? I mean, will they not? I hope they won't be fired. This is a choice. They can opt for uh, classes up to fifth. What are these uh, 9,000 rupees that QMath is charging them? How quickly can people start making money from QMath. Do yeah. people resume or they quit? How do teachers find their students? Hi Manan, welcome to uh, my channel. Thank you for Hi. spending some time. Um, can I start asking you the questions please? Yes, yes, please. All okay. right. So the first question that my audience would want to know is how simple is the process of onboarding with your company QMath? It's actually pretty simple, uh, Alina. We are basically trying to recruit uh, well-educated, well-qualified individuals who have, you know, good backgrounds in education, uh, who may have some prior work experience to come on the platform and to become teachers with us. So the onboarding process is pretty simple. There's a, uh, we check for some basic, uh, you know, background criteria like educational qualifications, you know, what time commitment you have, what, what, what your current math ability is. And uh, in particular, we also check for your interest in working with children, how, uh, how empathetic you will be while working with children. So that's a, big condition for us. Uh, but other than that, you know, there's, there's some basic process, some basic calls, uh, you have to do some basic training on the platform. Uh, apart from that, the whole whole onboarding process is very simple. And uh, during the onboarding process, we will handhold every individual throughout the entire process, we will explain each part of the platform, we will make sure that uh, all kind of support is extended. Um, you know, that the person coming on the platform does not feel confused. Uh, and we have dedicated teams to do that. So it's a pretty simple process and it takes just a couple of days. Okay. So how important is this training process? Because I remember receiving a lot of queries only on this question about the training process. I mean, what does QMath train you on and um, how important it is to receive the training? That is something that I would want to know from you. Yeah. So uh, our platform uh, works in a certain way. Teachers have to teach in a certain way. And we call it the QMath method of teaching. Uh, you know, uh, the, the way that teachers teach are supposed to teach uh, to kids. There's a certain structure to it. And that is what we want to train our teachers on. Uh, we want to uh, make sure they understand our philosophy, our methodology, how, how to use the platform, uh, how to connect with students and so on and so forth. So the training is not really very tough. It's just more about familiarity with the platform. It's just to make sure the teacher is comfortable with all aspects of the platform. Okay. And uh, it, uh, the training also involves, uh, you know, uh, certain aspects about how to deal with kids, because, you know, when, when you become a teacher, you will get kids of all kinds. Some kids will be super advanced. Some kids will be struggling and so on. And you have to be, uh, you know, well-trained to handle all kinds of kids. So that is also something we'll talk about. And also depending on your interest, what kind of grade segments you want to teach, what kind of programs you want to teach. So for example, apart from math, we've also introduced a coding program recently. So you can teach coding programs as well. And you can teach um, young grades, grades one to five, you can teach six to eight, or you can teach nine to 10, depending on what your interest and your background is. So based on what you want to teach and what your prior background is, there are multiple different, um, you know, training modules that you could complete and uh, get activated for teaching students of those segments. But it's all a very simple process. As I said, onboarding, we have, we have simplified it quite a lot because we are onboarding thousands of teachers every month. Um, so it's, it's a very simple process. It's very easy to go through. If you have done math uh, in your school, even up to grade 10, uh, you will, you should find it fairly easy. Okay. And if somebody is not really very good with math, but they really want to be a teacher with QMath, will it be okay for them to join? I mean, will they not? I hope they won't be fired. Do you fire people? <laughs> so uh, we have, uh, we have strict quality control measures, of course. Uh, but our biggest yardstick is whether the teacher is able to build a strong relationship with the student or not. 
because if that is in place everything else falls into place so you don't need to be a math genius but you need to have a great friendship uh, with your students and that is what we are really looking for so if someone is not um, comfortable with advanced math let's say you know math of grade 10 or math of grade 12 they can always just to teach up to young grades you know let's say up to grade 5 math up to grade 5 is really really easy you know it's it's very basic math concepts uh, arithmetic and so on and obviously on the coding side as well um, you know you can you can teach young grades because coding in young grade is very uh, very very basic so if you do have such apprehensions uh, in terms of whether you'll be able to teach you can always start with young grades up to grade 5 uh, and then you can slowly extend forward but uh, what what's non negotiable is your ability to build a good relationship with your students that is that is an absolute must yeah so this is a choice they can opt for your uh, classes up to 5th yes one more to choice okay yes they can start with up to 5 and uh, later on they can decide if they want to extend up to grade 8 or even up to grade 10 if they want to so that is a choice uh, so we have made it so alina the whole idea is that we have made it very flexible for teachers we understand that many of or most of these individuals come from backgrounds where they will not have um, you know all the hours in the day to dedicate to the platform so depending on how much time they have how much commitment they want to make they can opt in for the number of classes they want to take and the number of hours they want to spend in a week and we'll structure it accordingly acha okay i get the idea now thank you another question that i would want to know and a lot of people would want to know is what are these um, 9000 rupees that qmath is charging them yeah so uh, the 9000 basically covers a number of different things it covers the cost of training so we have trainers involved who work with the teachers uh, as they as they are handheld through the entire training and onboarding process okay. apart from that um, uh, the teacher has to have a writing pad that she needs to write digitally on the screen when she is explaining certain concepts to the student right. so that is also included in this cost Absolutely. and it in general it 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 covers these two things the training cost of getting the teacher on board the platform and some of these initial materials that the teacher requires to start taking classes okay all right i understand now uh how long does it take for a teacher to be on boarded if i have to give a number of days time so uh you know it it's up to the individual how much time uh, they uh, they take it could take as little as 3 days uh, it could also take let's say a couple of weeks so the entire training spans a few hours of work the, that you can do either in a short span of time or you can spread it over a, a few days and basically as i said earlier depending on how many things you want to get trained for so let's say if you come on board and you say i only want to teach math uh, math up to grade 5 then that is one module of training if you want to say okay i want to teach math up to grade 8 or math up to grade 10 that could be two or three modules of training yeah so depending on that the uh the training uh, work will extend a little bit but overall it's less than uh put together all put together it should be less than uh, you know uh, 10 to 15 hours of training and that can be done over a matter of just 3 or 4 days acha acha yeah. there is this very very important question that i would ask you next the thing is i want to know how quickly can people start making money from qmath so as soon as uh, a teacher is trained and as soon as soon as she starts taking classes you know she'll start earning on the platform because the way the platform works is we have a revenue sharing arrangement with our teachers so whatever revenue is generated by the teachers teaching uh, you know part of it is retained by the teachers and a part of it is taken by the platform so right from your first class you start earning essentially is is how the platform works and um, and just to give you a sense of uh, how mu- how much a teacher can make so now we have our teachers teaching india students as well as students outside india mm-hmm. um students outside india have to be taught in different time zones so for example if you're teaching in the us uh, you will have to wake up in early morning hours uh, let's say 4 am or 5 am and so on mm-hmm. but if you are teaching in india uh, uh, if you're teaching in india students you will be working primarily during the evening hours 5 to 8 pm for example and so on so depending on how much time uh you want to commit and what time windows of the day uh you want to work in uh you can teach different number of students so if you are teaching about 20 students let's say you will be generating about 50 60000 um uh, rupees of revenue of which you will get a certain part the majority of it you will get so so that is how the platform will work yeah you credit the salary once in the month or twice in a month how does it happen it happens uh, once in a month and uh, it happens right after the uh, that month's classes are done okay okay so i would say maybe around the third week of the next month that is how most of the companies do 
around 25th to 27th so let's say if uh, if you have taken july's classes uh, okay. you will get paid for july's classes uh, in the first week of august by august 10th yeah. okay okay that is good that is good that is i mean um, simpler than most of the other companies they generally credit the payment around 28 29th of the next month yeah, yeah. Okay. so our whole idea is elena you know, that we want our teachers to succeed because that is our whole model if our teachers succeed and if they are satisfied uh, mm-hmm. that is when we will succeed as a company because the platform is driven by our teachers that is true uh, obviously yeah. it's a very <laughs> democratic kind of a design both yeah. of you succeed with the help of each other all right yeah. i want to know one thing and i want to know it in the most in the most bare manner that you can answer do yeah. people resume or they quit i mean what is the general pattern that you have observed with your math teachers over the time yeah that's actually one of the most interesting things that we have observed is that our teachers stickiness on the platform our teacher um, you know the time they spend with us is actually very very uh, high and our teacher stickiness is very high and very few teachers uh, leave our platform so just to give you a sense of numbers if 100 teachers start with us in january mm-hmm. of a year by the end of that year after 12 months we will still have about 95 96 of those teachers with us operating with us That's um, and there are teachers who have been with us you know when we started the company in 2014 or 15 uh, they joined us back then you know five or six years back and they're still with us and they're thriving with us so teacher stickiness is very high because teachers have a sense of mission here teachers have a sense of purpose um, you know there are two or three very distinct distinct advantages of being a qmat teacher obviously you make money uh, you know and that, that is a good thing but apart from that you're doing something very meaningful uh, you are having an impact on students you know you 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 get to see your students learn and get better and grow up mm-hmm. and become more powerful learners mm-hmm. and apart from that you also get more skilled yourself you know because as you start becoming a teacher uh, you know more of an expert teacher you start picking up new skills you learn how to operate different kinds of teaching platforms Yeah. um and so on right so it, it it's also great from your personal growth point of view so that is why our teachers they stick with us um and we see very little uh, teacher attrition happening from qmat okay so how do you keep the people together do you have seminars or do you connect with them over the calls how do you make sure that they retain and they do not run away So Alina we have a very strong uh, community uh, system around our teacher network so teachers are divided into you know groups and they have whatsapp channels that they can uh, you know uh, uh, share ideas on and there's a facebook club where uh, there's a lot of interaction going on and all there's a mentor system that we have a group of teachers is assigned to a mentor so whenever you need some help or you're stuck um or you know you need you need to understand something better you can always reach out to your mentor our team structure is also very strong in terms of helping the teachers out so in general we see that our teachers feel a very strong sense of community and belonging by being on the qmat platform okay. and we have engineered the uh, you know the community this way the structure this way because we understand that many of our teachers are coming from um you know they they left uh, work prior in their life and now they're resuming work and coming on and starting off again and they would need that kind of support and that kind of handholding so we have created that kind of ecosystem that kind of community that is always there and um, a lot in, interestingly a lot of teachers um, tell us that apart from the monetary benefit and everything else what qmath has really done for me is given me a lot of new friends uh, because in the community i have made a lot of new friends now Mm-hmm. and some of them have become my best friends and so on and so forth okay. so the, the community feeling is very strong yes okay why only math why only math so um partly it's to do with my own passion and on math you know i was very uh, passionate on math when i was a young kid and, and at college and so on but i think the bigger reason is that math is a universal need math is something that every student needs to get great at uh, and math is uh, something that most students if not Uh, yeah most students actually kind of struggle with you know they find it difficult they find when they get averse to it and so on um and that should not happen especially in today's age when you know if you if you look at the way jobs are changing the way the economy is changing uh math is one of the most important skills that our kids need today so that's why we decided to focus on math the idea was always clear from day one that we wanted to build a global brand and that is what we're doing today our we have a presence not just in india Mm-hmm. uh but we have a very strong emerging presence outside india as well especially in the us and some other countries like that um so what we are really doing is we are trying to build the world's best platform around math learning um 
uh, uh, with students coming in from all across the world being being taught by teachers in india so that's the that's our uh, idea that said we also think there are a lot of other skills that are adjacent to math that we want to do that we already started doing so coding is one example we think coding is also very closely related to math and mathematical thinking so okay. we've introduced that program as well and our teachers can teach that as well okay uh you want to be known as the math specialist of the world right <laughs> you look at my t-shirt it says the math expert so that is what <laughs> you want to be okay um i although i did not include this on the list but i still want to know that uh, how do teachers find their students because that is one concern many people ask me and i forgot to let you know of the question earlier yeah yeah so uh, you know earlier when we used to have uh, offline classes uh, as well uh, we, uh, some of the student acquisition was done by teachers also because teachers knew kids in their neighborhoods and they could reach out to those kids and get them on board into their classes mm -hmm. but now because all classes happen online and it's a completely live online platform mm -hmm. uh, we we basically get students for our teachers that is how it works today um obviously if if a teacher knows students of their own they can always get them uh -huh. but primarily it is the platform's responsibility it is qmath's responsibility to get teachers on board uh, to get students on board uh, and we do a lot of marketing uh, on a lot of different channels for example we run facebook campaigns we run google campaigns uh, we are planning to uh, a number of big campaigns going forward to generate a lot of leads for our teachers and uh, that's how we get them students so today getting students on board is not really the teachers headache um, it is a responsibility of the platform to do that but that said uh, we obviously as any other platform we also try to make sure that the teachers who are doing better who are high on quality um, get prioritized in terms of getting uh, students so that is something that we look at. yeah okay so you do some kind of a little bit of filtering here and there to help the yes. people who are genuinely interested in teaching math on a longer period of time they want to continue with the platform okay. right. all right fine i think um, this interview is going to help a lot of people i don't really have any other question to ask you as of now um yeah. you answered all my questions to the best of my satisfaction i don't think i would need any more information but if i would need i will reach out to you again sure. and sure. i will no problem you. i'm happy to answer all these questions thank you very much for sparing all this time for me and for my audience thanks a lot Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording now. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye.